Hey everyone, and in this video, I want to talk about the iOS 17 and more specifically how you can change and customize the clock on your lock screen running iOS 17. So it's a very simple way how you can do it, but I'm going to show it to you. So at first, you need to get to the lock screen. So you either lock and unlock your iPhone or just swipe down to get to the a notification center because it's the same thing literally and in order to edit it or to change it up you need to hold down on it with your finger until you get to this page and you can switch between like multiple different views but at the bottom you also have the customize button so tap on it and customize the lock screen so tap on it once again now you can add the widgets and the stuff that you are probably familiar with but to change the clock or font type click on the time at the top of the page and now you can see a bunch of different things so as you can see you can change the font the very first thing is the font slider so you can choose it to look like a little bit different depends on your preference so this is where you can pick from all these options so however also if you click on the globe icon at the top of it you can choose like a different time format altogether so you can choose from arabic numbers to some kind of different type of numbers if that's something that you prefer or is something that you understand better so that's the possibility as well but i believe that most people are just going to be using the arabic numbers but also uh, this is not the only thing because you can also just a swipe and a like scroll through this slider right here which basically adjusts the size but not really the size like in all dimensions but mostly the width so it depends on what you want to do but it just gives you much more flexibility because each number looks different based on how much you swipe through it so not only you have multiple different fonts but every single font can be customized in a different way so that's really useful and also at the bottom you also have the slider for the colors i believe that you should leave it as it is i wouldn't really mess around with it because um it just gonna change and adjust according to the background behind it so i like to keep it at the first sort of like these uh, this automatic mode but you can also choose it to be something else which as i said i don't think it looks that good but you can choose from many different colors also if you swipe all the way to the right you also have the color picker which means that not only the colors which are part of the list or part of the scroll view or whatever but you can also choose any color from the spectrum from the sliders whatever you want you can choose any color that uh, is available on uh, the iphone so this is how you can customize it of course this uh, these changes only apply to one wallpaper pair so if you switch to a different one it's just not applying anymore so you should know about that but this is basically how you can change it as i said it's kind of simple so you shouldn't really be too worried about it it's not that difficult but you definitely need to know how you can do this. So that would be about it. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos like this one, make sure to hit the thumbs up and also subscribe so you don't miss future videos. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you in the future. Peace. <laughs>